A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is you tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio. It is a daily show focused on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. Every single day, there is going to be an episode or two, okay, one episode, that is talking about any one of those three topics. I, I, I do believe those three topics are critical in life. So, right about now, we are in the middle of a series. We started talking about the spirit within an organization, the importance of the spirit of an organization. Over the past uh, 11 episodes or so, I focused on the subject of the subject of the 10 signs that the spirit in your organization is suffering. And starting today, we're going to be talking about the six signs that you have it all together as an organization in terms of the spirit within that organization. What are the six signs that will tell you this spirit in organization here? It's awesome. We shall start doing that today in the episode. Uh, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The interesting thing is that we all want to live in a very good environment. We all want a place where there is sobriety, there is fun, there is purpose. We want a place, even if it's families or if it's a place of work or even if it's in our countries, we want a place that is having prosperity and having giving us conducive environment for fulfillment and all that stuff. But all these things are as a result of intentionality, and this intentionality is a result of s- focusing on spirit. What is the spirit of the family? What is the spirit of the organization? What is the spirit of the country? What is the spirit of the region? There is such a thing as spirit, and you, you can argue all you want the whole day, but it is there. Apple has a spirit, IBM has a spirit, MTN has a spirit, Airtel has a spirit, Uganda has a spirit. Kenya has a spirit and all that stuff. So let us look at the signs. What are some of these signs that you've got it all together? Let's look at just sign number one. We're talking about an organization. The first sign, this from the internal, the first sign that the spirit within an organization is awesome is that there is goodbye to carrots and sticks. You know what carrots and sticks are? These are things that you enhance. They're, They're manipulative even though it's very official, by the way. They are subtly manipulative ways of getting people to do things. With a carrot, you dangle something and you say, if you do this, you're going to be rewarded with this. With a stick, if you don't do this, you're going to be slashed like this. You're going to be beaten like this. And so people are pushing the agenda of the organization, not because of the spirit. They are pushing the agenda of the the organization because of the carrots and sticks. They have absolutely no idea, probably even what the spirit of the organization is all about. They don't know. They are not working because they want to work and they feel they want to work and they are connected to to working. That's one of the things. But if there is no carrots and sticks and people are actually working for the sake of the spirit of the organization, it is a sign. When you don't have to have carrots and sticks, it is it is a sign that this the the spirit in the organization is awesome. When the members of your organization are not motivated by incentives, okay, let, let me say this. There is, there is the importance and the place for incentives and for bonuses. But if I'm only working for the bonus, I've lost the plot. 
or the organization has lost the plot if the people are only working for the bonus. But you know you've got it all together. When people are not necessarily working because there is a bonus, they are working because they are connected to the tenets, the purpose, the dimensions, the direction. The, what matters to the organization is what matters to them. If people are only doing what is motivated by incentives or scared by punishments, if they do not do what is required of them, then the spirit of that organization is not alive. But the opposite is also true. Take a look at, at organizations around you. What is the situation in there? Do you, do you need to have people clock in and clock out? And I'm not being careless here because at times you need systems in place. Just want to know what time did you come in, what time did you go out? And we're not like, you know, following uh, kids HR departments, let me just speak to you for a uh, few minutes here. I know part of your work, it is to read the attendance list, is to go through the attendance list and see. Now, you've noticed that in those attendance lists, there are some people who are not working eight hours. There are people who are working more than those eight hours. And I know sometimes you, you do recognize them. Now you need to find out why is employee X and it's very easy for you to feel like the guy who live exactly after eight hours are not necessarily connected to the speed. You'll be you'll be wrong. You might be shocked. The guy who is going over and above might be incompetent. That's why they need more time to accomplish what they need to accomplish. Or actually they might be spending more than is estimated or it's required because they are passionate they are connected to the spirit of the organization and they've got to they are giving their blood their sweat and their tears this is a good sign if there is a critical mass here where guys you know guys are just you 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 go to office and you find guys are there right it's and they don't didn't need to clock they didn't need to be reminded there is a huge saying in the corporate world people do, do not people do what you inspect and not what you expect that's a bad thing why is that it is because the level of the spirit in that organization is low and this is a big conundrum and let me tell you it is world over it's not an african problem it's not a jewish problem it's not a uh, an, uh, whatever problem a european problem an asian problem it is a human problem. It's a human thing. The Bible tells us in the book of Colossians, whatever you find to do, do it like God is your supervisor. Do it like you're doing to God. Not God is your supervisor. You're doing it for God. There's a saying in Uganda, for God and my country. Actually, it's the motto of the country, for God and my country. If from the president all the way to the beggar in the streets could have that actualized for God and my country, it will be a different country. You know that the spirit of organization is awesome when there is no need for carrots and sticks where people show up because they want to show up, where people work because they want to work. The question is, how in the world can you make sure that this is the case within your organization? How? That is where the conundrum is. See, that is where we need to focus as human resource services. That's where we need to focus. We need to crack that code. And it's a, it's a long process. And part of it, it's, it's, it falls into my passion. Part of it is helping people to discover what their purpose is. Some people are coming to you and they have a degree in law and they really did not want to do law. But you're giving them some law jobs here and they really did not want to do it. What did they want to do? They wanted to do something else. But now that they have the law degree, they are feeling like they are, they are stuck with it. But within the organization, can we find out what is it that these guys really wanted to do? And can we start navigating and gravitating them towards that particular passion and make them to stay there? In so doing, guys are working because they want to work, not because there is salary at the end of the month, bonus at the end of the year, or there is a warning letter awaiting you if you do warning letter number one, if you do X, Y, Z, warning letter number two, if you do X, Y, Z, and so on. You get 
This is the ideal. I'm talking about this as the ideal because the human is uh, uh, fallen. <laughs> and if we can get to that place as human beings where we can do this, we will be in very good hands. We will have a very awesome spirit within the organization. And it's a, it's a, it, the work is actually cut out for us. So let us go for it. Probably in the episodes that are going to follow after this mini-series within the bigger series, we're going to talk about how exactly can we inject this spirit in the organization. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.